Did anyone see that tweet that I highlighted on Twitter? Because it was just the ultimate, like, it's how much hatrism exists in the world for upset. Someone goes after that game, they go, ha, upset's so trash, it took him 50 minutes to carry the game. The joke is, if upset won Worlds, they would just be like, yeah, but he still lost games in the series, and he also just picked fucking Siver in one of the games. It'd be like, he won Worlds. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't, the reckless would have done it better. You can't win, can you, if you're upset? The The man earned it. You know, like, within the first two years of his career, he made, he did more damage to his to his overall reputation like 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 than than i've seen a few like few people do like that was actually really like well done you know if if, if it was pr for pr reasons then he really did it well you know but uh yeah the man the man has a the man has some anti-fans i would say some yeah, some heaters <laughs> <laughs> way, he must have the most insane fucking mental this split as well that like he's held it together while humanoid just perma dies at level three over and over again to the enemy jungler and his fucking it support just leaves lane to die over and over again mate if that was even a solo queue game i would just go like maybe you enough league of legends for today back to that field again that i'm going for for worlds like this guy has to keep playing and i'll play the playoffs with these guys like mate he must just i bet now it, i'll give you a quick story when i first started in esports all all the way back in 2001 i went to an event and the guy i was going to an event was actually someone who at the time was a veteran in esports he'd been around like three or four years and he'd done all these trips around the world that i hadn't done right and i went and he once told me because i said to him this is back remember we're talking like 2001 so this wasn't when you got on a plane it had like an entertainment system this is when you get on the plane and they play the movie like three hours in and you have the shit headset and you're 15 rows back and like basically planes took were like way worse experience right and so i said to him because i'd never done it before like he'd done one of those trips where you do like multiple legs and you go like 20 plus hours to like Asia at the time. And I was like, how do you even do that? And he goes, oh, you have to understand... I had like on my first year in esports, I did like, I think it was like the first World Cyber Games. He was like, I went to that first event and they paid for all my trip. But the problem is because they paid for it. When I was coming back, I only noticed on the ticket. I was like, wait a minute, what? And on the ticket on way back to save money, they'd done that thing where instead of just going like straight from Korea to Sweden or whatever he lived, right? They'd bo- done that thing where they just book you like the other way around the world, like 10 different flights, like oh, 10, one of these, four hours, six hour lay over here. And he said, right, after he completed this one, trip at the end like never again could a delay phase him could like sorry sir there's gonna be it's gonna take two hours more till we land or like oh the, he said literally he became just like zen like i will arrive when i arrive and not a moment before <laughs> and the joke is that's actually how i became from doing loads and loads of flights and so i had the same experience it took me like 10 years except took this guy like one trip the joke is that must be what upset is like now he must just come in the game like it is not for us to choose if we are ahead in the game. That is, we can only yeah, deal with the mean, hands we are. You know, like, he must be like Gandalf do, level at this point. Alan. Who do people actually think is carrying this roster if it's, not, if it's not upset? Because I watch this team and it's like they they failed. At, I, I I don't even understand how they're they're how they're in fucking playoffs. Frankly, like it is yeah, it, it is it, completely mind boggling that they are even here. Because and, and people like oh yeah you know those Yamato drafts. Yamato has tried every fucking possible way to win this game. It's like play early game compositions play late game compositions they fail at executing every single composition that they have and it's often their own fault they will get a lead not push it hard enough with an early game composition or they will you know lose in the early game play too aggressively with a late game composition what do people want from this roster because it's not under yamato's control that razork and humanoid seem I'm not even convinced they speak the same language. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, do they both speak English? Because they don't play like they both speak English. (laughs) (laughs) Because they're not talking to each other about what's going on. Because either Razork, you know, Humanoid's pushing too far forward and, you know, they're not talking about, hey, I need you to cover for me. Or Razork's like walking into the enemy jungler and Humanoid's like, I don't have pressure, dude. Like, there's nothing that's happening. Like, one of them's always dying one way or another. It's it's bad. And Upset is the one that's as- absolutely bailing this team out right now. Like, how do, how do you possibly make playoffs with this kind of performance? It the only it two in that shocking. team that speak the same language is Humanoid and Hillisang, and it's the language of Int. That is all they speak. <laughs> that is all they speak. And tell you what, they don't even have to speak. They're just telepathically on the same page. I mean, I, I will throw some shade at, at the draft because for me, what was really confusing about this last weekend, right, is that, okay, Fnatic pulls off the upset against Misfits. Now, remember that Misfits is playing blue side and Fnatic's playing red side in both the last game that Misfits or that Fnatic wins and then also the tiebreaker that they play in order to see what the playoff bracket is going to look like. And remember, guys, 
that that was really important because it means that Misfits now has a double a limb bracket and Fnatic does not, right? So that that game was incredibly important. Yeah, yeah. People so, don't realize. Yeah. So you're coming in to this and you ban on red side as Fnatic, Poppy, Akali, and Yumi. Thumbs up, man. Here's the thing. You cannot give Misfits Yumi. This is the pick that yeah. Misfits is never, ever, 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 ever allowed to have. Ever. So, un- like, unless you are Misfits... <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm like, seeing now, yeah, I'm seeing that. <laughs> you don't let them have it, because every it's single the only way game, the super carries get super, exactly. Every <laughs> single game this year, even in yeah. spring when they were coming back, it was the Yumi that was powering up these comebacks. Um, now, they didn't... Spoiler, they get Yumi in the tiebreaker for some reason. Now, they didn't need the Yumi to come back in that it game. It goes without saying, on the poppy, here's why you ban the poppy. Because then Zanzara starts to play League of Legends. And then, no, guess no. what? Spoiler, he's Zanzara, so he's going to have to actually play League of Legends now, isn't he? So that's here, what I want. Here, here, here this is, Z- citing Zanzara was actually like the secret genius move of, of Misfits because they picked him in a Poppy Skarner Trundle meta. This is, this is the best God. possible meta for Zanzara. Like, it does not get better than this for Zanzara. That pick, that pick sighting was actually genius at this time. Uh, shout out, shout out to DeVicio for doing that because if you look at his, like, most played champs, it's just those champs, right? Like, <laughs> it's crazy how, how easily he kind of slots in to this particular meta in the jungle. We also know he's a very vocal player. Okay, so back, back on this draft. All right, so you first pick Gwen, if you're mis if you're misfits, like okay, uh, I I don't know if I would be oh, if I would be them? first picking for irrelevant. Who, by the way, nearly lost them the tiebreaker as well by completely just getting shit on in the top lane by by Razork and and Wonder. Right. So they first pick that champion, and then for some reason, like when the Akali and when the Yumi and and they ban Silas right in the second round of picks. So like. Great, no Silas, no Akali for VTO, no, no Yumi. Let's see what they can do. Turns out Misfits can't do a whole lot in this game. Like they default to Zoe, which is just I mean, an off meta pick. They're prioritizing their Avai jungle and a Gwen in, on blue side. Like, don't do that if you have a rookie top laner. Like, that's a very weird yeah. decision. Uh, for a game that deeply matters to you, so you don't have to have a rematch, and then maybe not even get into the double limb side of the bracket at all. Meanwhile, Fnatic picks relatively standard. They go for scaling. They end up winning this game. The Zoe is not particularly useful at any point in time. Go next. Okay, so you're fin- be, be in be in the be in the rematch now. Is Fnatic? You have, you have the blueprint. The blueprint is there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the blueprint's there. Okay. Do you really have to ban the Akali? I'm not sure you do have to ban the Akali, right? I, I'm not sure that's particularly necessary. A signature champion, but the problem is it's not like it's the strongest if, champion if you in the man now, is it? Exactly, yeah, yeah. And if they don't have the Yumi, do you care yeah, as exactly. much about the Akali? So what do you do? Oh, right. You change your entire red side bans. Remember, you prepared for this, for this game, and you ban Gwen, Jarvan, and Sivir. Okay. So you let them first pick Poppy. You then take Orn Trundle. Right, because you 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 have if you're taking Orn in the first rotation, you also have to take Trundle because otherwise they they're like you know they might pick Trundle. Probably not if they pick Poppy though. So like, why pick Trundle in the first rotation? Like, pick Silas would be my. I would say pick like Orn Silas. They're probably not going to play like top lane Poppy or top lane Trundle. Um, and then they let Silas go over, and then they come in with a Talia, and then, interestingly, they pick Ezreal. Again, not a meta champion right now. And Pike. So they pick they pick Ezreal because they know they want to pick Pike on R5 because they want to, basically for him to play safe in the bot lane and avoid, you know, basically have open up Pike to roam on the map. So then Misfits gets Nar and a U, a Yubi at blue five pick, which is yeah, also five, like insane. Yeah. Like, if you're a fanatic, why the fuck are you picking Trundle instead of like Yumi. Like, why don't you pick Orn Yumi or Orn Silas? Why are you picking Orn? Fast forward to the actual gameplay. And in spite of all of this, because Irrelevant <laughs> has just an atrocious laning phase, which was partially caused by Fnatic, like it was good repeat ganks in the top side by Razork. But then this game is entirely thrown by them skirmishing with a Yumi and this 
fucking Silas, the Silas with the Yumi on it, which flashback to our conversation, guys, about uh, CLG or our C9's game earlier, rather, where I say, look what happens if you just pick Silas if you're C9 and you have a Twitch, Yumi, and Silas together. Well, they have an Aphelios, Silas, and Yumi together. And you can see what happens. It doesn't matter if Aphelios dies because they use all their cooldowns and then the Yumi just goes on the Silas and then Silas kills fucking everybody. So I, I just don't understand why you give Misfits some of their very, very best picks on some of these players in what is such a consequential game. Yeah. And it just goes to show that even if you completely shut down Irrelevant in the top lane, so first off for Misfits, why are you prioritizing Irrelevant? This guy is probably the worst player on your team in this meta because it's Zanzara's meta, right? And he's a rookie. And then for Fnatic, for the love of God, if I see anybody give Misfits Yumi in playoffs, I'm going to be so fucking mad. This champion is good on any team, but it is especially good on Misfits. Like, this is how they win games. This is how they win games. Do not give them Silas. You can even give them the Akali because it's not as good as the Silas in this current meta. Do not give them Silas. Do not give them Yumi. Uh, take those away or ban them. I, I, I mean, no one's been doing that all split long, though, so I don't think <laughs> it, 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 it is. It is very, it is just very irritating. Like, their, their ban order, like, even... It, their pen just doesn't track with what they picked, right? Like, I mean, no, that, that, that's, that's the most annoying Look, I, have, I have been very complimentary of Fnatic's drafting, but this, this like, tiebreaker one was very confusing. <laughs> anyway, continue. Like, yeah, I mean, I mean you, okay, so the Gwen ban makes sense if you want to pick Orn early. I mean, that, that kind of tracks. But then you ban Jarvan, even though you leave up. Why do you ban Jarvan if you end up <laughs> leaving a Poppy anyway? Right, like, what you said, are really gonna play Jarvan? Come on, like, <laughs> yeah, like uh, and then, and then, like, well, okay, enemy ban Zeri, so we're we're afraid that they would first pick Sivir, I guess. So we ban Sivir, and then we're like, man, oh, they have Poppy first pick. It's like, and then you pick good, two good ultimates in the first R R one and R two, and then you leave up Silas, and then you counter pick with Talia, and the Talia has no lane to play to because you're now moving. Fucking Ezreal Pike to 4-5, which is not a plane you play around anywhere because Ezreal Pike, it's literally designed to not play around the lane. Talia cannot play around top lane because it literally, it's literally worn into whatever. It doesn't even matter what is top lane at that point. So you have like no playable lanes. A Talia that is going to be probably dicked in the mid lane through ganks and whatever because he's playing against Silas and Poppy who have really good gank setup. So what exactly are you trying to accomplish? But uh, I, 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 <laughs> dude, dude, it fucking it fucking slays me. You pick Orn Trundle and you don't ban Silas. You're like, I wonder if they're gonna pick Silas. <laughs> it's like, of course they're gonna fucking pick Silas. He's gonna steal Orn or Trundle ults. Like they're just sitting there being like, he's like, this is the freest fucking Silas. I, I, I don't, don't care it. what they play in mid lane. I'm just better Orn. Like <laughs> my Ornold does a fucking shit ton of damage. Like, I, I, and it's like it's obvious. Like VTO is gonna play. I'm just sitting here. I'm like, what is what is happening? Like, why why are you doing this, man? <laughs> I don't I don't feel like Misfits is that hard to read as a team. They're really good at what they do. But if you just it, prevent it just, them from doing it, and when it you did it, help, yeah. when you when you prevented them from doing it, literally the same day. What are you doing when you have the same side <laughs> in the draft? It's literally the same preparation you already won. What are you doing? <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like they read the wrong document afterwards. They're like, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, okay, this is what we do. <laughs> what I find so puzzling is this is actually the reason why when we do Best Damn League Show, we always say it doesn't matter how many BO1s Misfits win, like none of us are taking them with a chance to win LEC and they might not even go to Worlds no. because they're the most obvious team you can cynically draft against in a best of five. Like as you're saying, Monty, like first of all, you can take any of those angles and they'll all shut them down. And then secondly, haven't you noticed that like this has been happening the whole time since they signed Zanzara? People draft like they draft for everyone except Zanzara. Like, dude, in the first weeks, they would do stuff like ban Trundle so you couldn't play it, forcing him to pick Poppy. It's like, that's maybe even a yeah. better draft pick. Like, what? Anyway, what in, are we doing, the, you know? In, in Zanzara's career, he has a 73% win rate on Poppy and a 42% win rate on Jarvan. His yeah, most I mean, played champions are Sejuani, Skarner, and Trundle. Like, he's, he's fucking built for this meta. You know what I mean? Like, it was a great pickup. Uh, but... If you, if you, I don't even think it matters, honestly, if he gets these picks. I mean, I, mean, <laughs> I just think it, it matters if they have Yumi. <laughs> it is, it is, very, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Okay. I, I do think that it matters whether or not he gets Poppy Trundle. Like, I think it actually does matter. 
but it, it, it's not, just at the, not at the cost of Yumi silence. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, guess, I guess, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, look, would I rather would I rather Zenzara play Poppy or would I rather Misfits play Silas Yumi? Like that, it, or, I mean, and give you know puppy, what? Amazing. Give puppy, give puppy, give you puppy. know what? You know what? Amazing. We don't even have to theorize because I guess they just get all of it. Like, I guess it's just all they get yeah. everything. <laughs> I just get, they get it all. They get it all. <laughs> oh, man. I, it is it pissed me the fuck off I, lo- I lo- watched the LEC like over the last couple of weeks every single g- and as you said Thorin you know, like with the fucking Trundle Poppy thing it's like why the fuck are people banning Trundle against him but then they, they leave out Poppy but they don't counter pick it like they literally just pick Wukong into it what the fuck is happening it's like <laughs> is everyone fucking mind controlled like I, it's like I thought, Monty, like, Monty, I have to break in here because here's the reason why I can't handle this situation. We're talking a fucking amazing who played for TSM against Cloud9 and he got there and he did an AMA and he said, here are my three best champions. So they banned all three out and then forced him to pick Volibear. Eh, no, 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 no,
everything. Everything, <laughs> everything, everything they're playing. So it's like, what the hell is happening? You know. By the way, Monty, here's another thing as well. Because uh, you brought up the point about obviously they had that game where Irrelevant played Gwen. If you just go and look at his career history, you have to remember he hasn't played very much. Right before this split of LEC, he was playing the LFL. Right in the LFL, he doesn't even play Gwen; he plays against Gwen. In the they only brought it in a few times in the LC, LEC. Mate, I would just be fucking floating this ban against him. Why waste this ban? You, if anything, you want the guy to fucking waste his time picking Gwen. It's not good for him. It's going to be worse for his team. It's especially not a good first pick on blue side, right? Like. They got the one thing anyway. I think is mad underrated in League of Legends especially is people don't do this enough. Sometimes you intentionally want to bait that pick. Like yeah. you want to leave it up so they pick it and you prep the comp that's going to destroy them when they have a weak Gwen play. You know what I mean? Like you can actually, like you're, what you're doing there is either you just get a free ban or you just fucking bait them in a comp. Oh, you have also, to play what you want. There's also no top lane bans and it's not like there aren't Gwen counters. Like you see the Jax popping up. It, it popped up in the LEC this week, not successfully but uh it is common in the lpl to to take the jacks into the gwen um so i don't think gwen is first pick worthy like if i was doing misfits draft i probably they ended up with sivir but i think you first pick sivir in this scenario and then you on the second rotation on blue side you pick silas like don't give them a chance to ban silas in the second rotation of the draft like i would just have confidence in vto being able to play that into any matchup you already banned the azir right and honestly azir or silas is pretty good into azir you see that matchup quite a bit not necessarily in the laning phase but silas fucking with azir ult is terrifying later yeah 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 so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on in these drafts. That, like that is, I, I, that is actually the answer to a lot of things, right? Just I don't know. Like I do not know. You know, that's actually the answer to a lot of things. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> some of these, some of these Western, like these, these like Western region things. I'm, I'm curious what you. The do. trouble, though, amazing, is that that's also the answer that they give within the draft when misfits are saying, "What should we pick next?" <laughs> I don't know. Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel, then, or you know, be a pleb and don't. Thank you